So when we recorded our syrup review video, it wound up running quite a bit longer than I like my videos to be. I try and keep things in that sort of 10 minute or less range, and there was just no way we were gonna edit this down and get it short enough. So it's gonna be split into two parts. This will be the first part. We also have an additional syrup that we're gonna review, and we're gonna make a little update to the video. We're gonna kinda interject some of this stuff right here a little bit later in the video where appropriate. It'll be obvious because we're dressed differently. Hey guys, it's Courtney. And Steve. From Serious Keto, and today we are gonna be reviewing seven low-carb, sugar-free, possibly keto-approved syrups. But first, a couple of very quick disclaimers. I will not be taking a blood glucose reading. I kind of feel that that's sort of pointless in that we all react differently to different sweeteners and different foods, and my results may not be indicative of what you would experience. So as adults, I would say if, if uh, you're concerned about that, get yourself a blood glucose or ketone monitor. I will actually include a link to the Keto Mojo below, which is what I use. It's a 15% off discount that you can get. End of sales pitch right there. Also, we're gonna talk about the specific sweeteners that are in each of these and, and other ingredients that may or may not be something that you're interested in. I would say on that, we're not endorsing a particular type of artificial sweetener just by reviewing this. And it's up to you, again, as an adult, to do the research and decide what you wanna put into your body, what you feel is safe or appropriate. So with that, that, that felt really serious. That felt like serious keto. But now we're gonna have some fun. Make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications. Yeah, I put that at the end now. Oh, okay. But that's okay. All right, we're gonna start with the Smuckers. So in terms of the sweeteners that that has, that has sorbitol. And sucralose, which and is in parentheses non-nutritive, it's not, that's what non-nutritive sweetener. You know, there's some people out there not real fond of sucralose and, you know, some of what it can potentially do to your gut biome. Sorbitol, you know, that's the sweetener that's usually found in like sugar-free gum. And it also, it's got natural and artificial flavors. And I know some people, when they see that on an ingredients list, immediately think, all right, that's a no-go. So, um... There's our disclosure on this. What are we looking at for nutritional facts? Serving size is two tablespoons. So the serving size on all these varies uh, a bit. Um, and there's 10 calories, which is low, and zero net grams of carbs per serving. So four grams total carbs. Four all, gram, yeah. All four are... Sugar, alcohol. All right. Okay. Let's serve us up. Okay, so this is pretty runny. I'm going to be a little more delicate with mine. You want to start? I don't really like it. It's really watery. I get the syrup taste, but I also get another taste. Yeah, it starts off very buttery, I think. Mm -hmm. like, a, like a butter and syrup melted together. And it has that sort of initially that high fructose corn syrup sort of taste to it. But the end, there's something sort of distinctly... Kind of like artificial-ish. Oh yeah, -ish. definitely. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say this kind of has a fair amount going against it. True that. So took one for the team on that. Okay. Next we have the Mrs. Butterworth. What's the story there? Mrs. Butterworth has a one-fourth cup serving size. All right, so? Um, so that's large. It is eight grams of carbs, eight grams sugar alcohol, so zero net grams of carbs. Okay, that um, also has sorbitol. Yep, that's the main sweetener. And I believe natural and artificial flavors as well. Yep. Okay, any other artificial sweeteners in there? Um, aspartame. Aspartame. Okay, that's another one that some people um, try and avoid. That's all I'm seeing. Okay. So, 
pretty similar looking to the Smuckers. All right, be gentle on the pour, All just right. in case. Let's see. I like this better. I'd call them about equal. Really? Yeah. It's I'm a not, little thicker. It's a little thicker, so it's sort of a better mouthfeel. Yeah. I think on it. Um, I think it's a little sweeter. And I also, I didn't get that sort of Butter. artificial aftertaste no. on this. So just purely in terms of flavor, Mrs. Butterworth, better than the Smuckers. Okay. Our opinion. Yes. Now next we have the Log Cabin, which I think our very first review we, when we, we were yep. starting off this channel was like keto Costco products. or uh, Amazon. No, yeah, Amazon Prime Pantry. Yeah. And we had this and we liked it. Uh, it reminded us a lot of the high fructose corn syrup sort of syrups. Mm -hmm. um, what do we got there in terms of nutritional info? So this is another quarter cup serving size, um, and it has eight grams of carbs, seven grams of sugar alcohol, so that's going to be one net gram of carbs. And again, these are calculations the same way that Carb Manager does them. Yep. Uh, sorbitol is the main sweetener yep. once again. It also has aspartame. Yes. And Neotame. And, oh, okay. Yep. And it also has natural and artificial um, flavors. So this is sort of pegging a lot of things that, that people kind of try and avoid when they're eating clean. Yeah. I just really like it. Yeah, from a taste standpoint, that tastes totally like high fructose corn syrup yeah, syrup. It's good. But a lot of sort of sketchy stuff in there. Yeah. It, that, you know, again, your decision if it's something you want to, uh, to eat or if it's something that you want to avoid. Now we're going to move into some monk fruit based sweeteners, starting with the Lacanto. So that's some remarkably, that looks pretty, pretty thin. It looks like water. Like, it looks like water. Um, so this is two tablespoons. But, but brown, brown foamy water. Yeah. <laughs> two tablespoons is the serving size, 25 calories, seven grams of carbs, and doesn't say sugar alcohol. Now, what's interesting on this, what does it say for, for carbs? Seven total Seven grams. grams. Now it's six grams of fiber, fiber. in there. So yeah. net gram, net grams of carbs is one. Okay. But this has both tapioca starch and or tapioca fiber and potato and potato starch. starch in there, which you know some people are questioning uh, when you have those as ingredients. Should those really be, you know, should those be counted as carbs or should they not be counted as carbs? I had one viewer tell me that in terms of protein bars, that there may be some legislation or something going on where they need to start counting that as carbs. I don't know. Just what I was told. Uh, another thing to add is that this doesn't have anything artificial in it. Um, even the color comes from fruit juice. It doesn't say what, but yeah, if that's something you're avoiding. Okay, so none of those natural or artificial flavorings. Right. Oh, okay, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pour first just in case I screw up. You can learn from my mistake, but. Okay, this so is. So liquidy. Okay. All right. I do not oh like my that. my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what that, that does not taste at all like maple to me. That was so bad. <laughs> it tasted like alcohol in the beginning and like soda, like horrible. Yeah, I don't know what that taste was. Something like fruit that's gone bad. Mm -hmm. And if you watched our um, artificial sweetener video, that monk fruit just had like this bad aftertaste, like now, bad. I felt that okay. at the end. Rubber. Yeah, and now I'm getting that too. Yeah, it tastes like rubber afterwards. That was pretty bad. 
All right.